When we talk about the fivefold ministry, some people think that when he says he gave some prophets, apostles, evangelists, pastors, and teachers, some people think that that only applies to the four walls of the church. And this is something that as we continue to understand the heart and mind of God, we will realize that apostles are not just apostles in the four walls of church. He did not leave walls because apostles were not limited to walls. He did not leave walls because prophets were not limited to the four walls of the church. He did not leave walls for evangelists and teachers because teachers are not limited for walls. He knew that banks one day will emerge. He knew that insurance companies would emerge. He knew that big large conglomerates would emerge. He knew that hospitals would emerge and they would need people to manage them. He knew that businesses would emerge. He saw AI, he saw robotics, he saw quantum computing, he saw everything. And he knew that I will need apostles in quantum computing. I will need prophets in artificial intelligence. Come on now, I'll need evangelists in robotics. Are you following what I'm saying? So you don't need to be in the four walls of the church for you to be defined as an apostle. I have met people who are apostles in business. Many years ago, I read an interesting book called Business Unlimited. By a gentleman, was he called Olson Ghana? It's many years. If you read that guy's book, you see an apostle in business. A prophet in business, sorry. He was a prophet in business. He could teach a lot the prophets that are functioning in the business world. That is why we're not reaching the world as we should. Because we think he's in the four walls. Christ is not in the four walls. He didn't even send us to the four walls. He told us, go ye in the world. Hallelujah. So, as the church continues to mature in this conversation, I pray that we expend this father to those who must know and not limit God. There are people who are in politics, but they're not there as politicians. And they have the full right and assignment of God. And by heaven, some of them are not just politicians. Some of them are prophets. Some of them are not just leaders, political leaders, but they are apostles. Some of them are just, just political leaders, but they are teachers. It's wherever God would find expression, he will go. Even in the things you define as secular, God can reveal himself because he knows how men are. His power, wisdom, and abilities are not limited by what is secularized. Even in what would seem wicked and evil, God can actually bust good out for his glory. But some people are not mature to understand this. Who knows the meaning of Nineveh? Nineveh, where Jonah was sent. Study it. Who knows the meaning of Nineveh? When he tells him, arise and go to Nineveh, what is the Hebrew definition of Nineveh? What did the people of Nineveh worship? When you study the people of Nineveh, their history, you discover that they worshipped marine spirits. And their God was a fish. You understand what I'm saying? It was a fish city. A fish town. So, it's in, God, it's in God's infinite wisdom. I'll teach about it one day, Pastor Brian, I promise. It's in God's infinite wisdom that the only way these fellows can believe a prophet is if I cough him through what they call God. <laughs> Who got it? <laughs> now I can see some people say, ah, he came from a fish. That's a fish spirit. Mami water. Wah, fire. <laughs> They'll disqualify Jonah. But God knows where they see from. And he is willing 
to go to them. That's why he took on the form of man and came in the likeness. That kind of grace. He stripped him of himself so much, so much to come in the form of a servant and to be like man, to also be bathed and turned. <laughs> uh, if I was God, <laughs> uh, you understand? So I have many questions because you know that's how you know how much God loves us. It's how, how much he loves you. That you would take on your form, your likeness. The likeness of a man. That's why he tells Peter that you shall be a witness of the things that I have or will show you and in the things in which I shall appear. Of the things you have seen and in those things which I will appear unto thee. I'll appear in many things. Be alert to know where I am. Be alert to design my appearance when the world doesn't. And I feel in my heart one of those days, oh sorry, to, in the end of the ages, I see that God will judge many men who are not able to design him in some of the things that he appeared to men or through men. Some have put him in this box. They limit him in function. Hallelujah. 